to uh, Phil's Corner Live, off to the second ever Phil's Corner Live. And as you'll see, we've got a um, a new chat box on the uh, on this side. Oh, this side, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's that's cool. I figured out how to do that. Watched a couple of YouTube tutorials. Um, yeah, so welcome and thanks already to those who have joined in. Steve, -o, good to see you, Steve, -o, Joe, Christopher. Got to pick up the kids from school. Yep, don't forget about that, mate. <laughs> But yeah, thanks for stopping by. And Zach, uh, fun story, uh, the music is actually, um, it's actually me. <laughs> I mean, one, one day actually, when this channel gets a bit bigger, I'd love to like um, get my guitar and maybe perform for you guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that music was basically my, my like uni project. Um, I did music technology at uni, of all things, nothing to do with what I'm doing now. But um, yeah, so that was like my project basically. And uh, yeah, so anyway, that was a song uh, composed and, and performed by me. So there we go. Um, but hi, Henrique, Carlos, thanks so much for popping in already, guys. Uh, yeah, welcome to the second ever live stream. Can, I'm assuming you can hear me okay, but do do say if there's any problems with the audio or the, or the visuals. But uh, yeah, we're slowly working our way here. Uh, I didn't quite have time. To, I was going to do a full um, kind of, you know, framed backdrop I didn't quite get time to do that but uh, anyway welcome to the stream guys tonight it's gonna be a fun one I'm basically just gonna go on eBay and just between us we're gonna see what we can find I really enjoy just trawling through eBay even if I don't buy stuff I really like um, you know just like finding uh, this kind of stuff that's available maybe a shirt that I've never seen before doing a bit of research hey Alejandro welcome welcome mate welcome guys and yeah it should be fun, so um, we'll um, we'll jump into it very shortly. Last time I did this, I had the um, the Champions League on on my telly. Um, that was a bit distracting. I enjoyed it, but I, I kind of kept checking it, so I've not done that tonight. Please do if anything crazy is happening or there's any kind of kit related stuff, do um, do jump in with a comment uh, if you uh, if you see anything you want me to uh, to, to know. I want everyone to know. But yeah, so we're just going to go on eBay and I'm going to, it'd be cool to find some shirts tonight. I think I'm going to set a, um, a budget. So let's say I'm not going to spend more than £100, which is, you know, a fair chunk of money. Um, that's my limit. Please hold me to that. <laughs> uh, I won't necessarily spend it. I'll only spend it if I find something good. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can find. I mean... Again, as well in the chat, please do drop in suggestions or if you want me to look for a certain shirt if we get a bit later on in the time. Um, yeah, and actually before we do start, I'll show you my latest email purchase, which was actually this Boca Juniors shirt. And uh, I'm wearing this Boca Juniors top as well, so it's a very Boca, Boca themed uh, evening. But this one, which is actually a player issue shirt from, I think it's 2015, 16, it's around there. This was only 35 quid and it's in great condition. You can see um, you've got the, uh, the gold authentic patch there. I really like the inside neck detail on this one. And yeah, what size is a large, fairly tight large. 35 quid on eBay from a guy in Aberdeen. So there is still stuff out there, guys. I mean, this, I think if you were to buy it uh, from a, you know, from classic football shirts, you're probably looking well over 50 pounds. I'd imagine closer to 100 with, uh, with their prices, but um. Yeah, so that was a really cool find. I really like that. You've got the ventilation holes there. I don't think... It's funny. This version, this Nike uh, player issue construction isn't nearly as exciting as the recent Vaping It shirts. It's quite funny how in just a few years, uh, Nike have really kind of elevated the quality. I wouldn't say this is actually much different to the replica. But anyway, that was my late, latest eBay find. If you can find that, uh, that sort of thing, I'll be very happy. I don't know if we'll quite manage that, but... Uh, yeah, so let's have a look before I switch over. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, thank you guys for your kind words already, Mike. In the I'm in the corner of the room, corner of my living room. Time for some magic, let's hope so, Mike and Joe. Yeah, well, mate, do, if there's any shirts on your wish list, don't tell me whatever you do, because otherwise I'll try and snipe one. Actually, I'm expecting the opposite. I'm expecting people to jump in. If we see a really good deal, 
you're very welcome to jump in and steal it. That'll be quite funny. Oh, I'd obviously be a bit gutted, but uh, yeah, that will be good. And Zach, good point there, being from Canada, often having to change your location. Yeah, I often, when I'm looking, and we'll go through this in a bit, I often do like to kind of go for global, uh, you know, set the, the location filter to global or whatever it is. But um, equally, sometimes you get some extortionate shipping costs if you're shipping from Australia or something. But uh, and yeah, Barry, my best Evo find was a Holland 88 jersey. Now that, for legit 88 jersey for 270 quid, is incredible, Barry. So if we can, I mean, <laughs> I set a budget of £100. If we, if we saw that and it was legit, yeah, that would be amazing. That's a great find. That's an all-time find there from Barry. And he's just, just put the reissue. Yeah, I mean, Boca Juniors, um, yeah, probably my favourite team for shirts. And uh, yeah, I love pretty much any Boca Juniors shirt, even though... Certainly the modern ones of the Kata and the Airways sponsor aren't great. But they're still amazing. So I'm going to switch over to a new scene now. And we'll see how that goes. And hopefully you can see uh, eBay. Uh, you probably got a shot of OBS as well as I did that. Um, but I'll just wait till my, uh, my second screen catches up just to make sure this is looking okay. You can see some of my recently viewed items. <laughs> I'm desperately looking for a Go Ahead Eagle shirt, um, <laughs> and I haven't found one, and I really want one, especially uh, obviously from their humble days. But here we go, guys. This is eBay. I mean, I don't need to introduce this, of course, to you. We are literally just going to look for shirts, and as I say, do do use the chat facility, do use the chat box to ask any questions. I'll try and keep an eye on that. But yeah, let's let's jump in and. I've said this before in previous videos, I really like literally just going for something like a general term, let's go football shirts, stick on a couple of basic filters, so obviously one of the big things with eBay, you tend to have people listing stuff in the wrong place or in the wrong kind of um, details, but let's start with, let's start with auctions, because auctions I think are always fun, it's a much smaller pool, we're already down to 14,000 there, if you do, or, um, Auctions end in soonest. I've done adults as well. Now, with a general search of this, there's going to be a lot of stuff which isn't of interest, but I'm actually just now going to go through. This is what I, I used to always be doing this on my lunch break when I used to work in an office. I mean, there's a lot of random stuff. So this is interesting here. I mean, we've only got a minute left on this one. If that was a legit Anthem jacket, that's a good price. I suspect they may be fake, although if they've got the product codes, they don't, I can't remember if jackets have product codes. They usually do, don't they? That to me is a, it's not an obvious fake, but anyway, we're sticking to shirts. But um, yeah, as we scroll through, I mean, you'll see a ton of this sort of stuff. Uh, the remakes of the 88, nothing like the one Barry got, not the legit one. Cheap, Olymp uh, blah, blah, blah. Cheap Olympiakos kit here. Um, this one isn't particularly exciting, but again, it looks like it's legit, possibly. Yeah. I think it is. That's uh, certainly very cheap. Uh, an XL. We're looking for something a bit better. But I, I enjoy it, honestly, just going through. And there's a lot of stuff, as I say, which is not great. Um, once we've gone through a bit more, we'll also do the newly listed ones. Um, on buy it now, I think that's often quite a nice, nice route as well. But yeah, look for a Reebok Marseille shirt. Okay, Zach. Okay, nice. I will look. Oh, so so many fakes like this. I mean, this is fakes like this are funny, aren't they? When it's not even an, an attempt there. <laughs> I guess in that sense, it's probably better than a uh, than a um, <laughs> than a kind of a, a fake that actually looks quite good. So here we go, an original Morocco shirt. It's out of my budget for tonight, but again... Now, I mean, already, guys, can you see here, design reminiscent, of course, of the um, Fiorentina shirt, and I believe that's legit. I mean, let's have a quick look, actually. Morocco old football shirts. Um, I should have gone to old football shirts first, really. I also spelled Morocco wrong. There we go. I mentioned this in my last video about using old football shirts to research, and that looks to be, at least on the first glance, a legit shirt. 200 quid. Uh, I mean, I've not seen many of these in the wild, so I wouldn't say that's necessarily too expensive. Um, yeah, it's not for me. 
but that's uh, that's a nice nice shirt to come across. I'll leave old football shirts open. We'll probably be using this a few times tonight. I think. Great to um, yeah to have you guys along. Welcome, Andy. Good to have you here, mate. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> that wolf shirt from last year. Did they even wear this one? I don't remember them wearing it much. I think they they did. Did they wear it once? I think last year. Um, yeah, not a good design that one. Certainly memorable though. Mike Atalanta goal. Oh, okay, okay, nice. Yeah, I, I, I've kind of come to the realization that I'm going to be really itching to um to see see the results as we're going through tonight. But um, but yeah, let's um, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep it off, but I might I might get up on my phone maybe. Uh, I changed to two hundred items per page. So we've got a bit more to play with. Again, these are auctions that are ending soon. Um, I mean, you know, when I when I started collecting, I used to really enjoy um, just picking up really cheap deals here and there from random teams. In this example here. Uh, so as we're going through here, there's a few, you know, a few potential kind of cheap pickups. Um, that's funny. That's like a template of that Dortmund shirt. Bill Bow, Bill Bow, some lovely shirts. I mean, this one. I think if it had cheaper postage, it's a tempting cheap pickup. Uh, again, assuming it's authentic, it doesn't look bad at first glance. Uh, you know, the the a um, the Bill Bow shirt I really like is the green. The green one, which they had, um, well, they've had a few green away shirts, of course, the flag of, of the Basque region, but uh, yeah, some really good stuff uh, that they've had, and I'd love to get one of those. Barry says, yeah, some guys from Instagram, and Damien from uh, I'll Be Josie's confirmed the shirt is legit. Amazing, mate. Yeah, no, that's such a good find. I've I've never come close to, um, to owning the whole 88. Oh, here we go. Now, this is a fantastic shirt. And honestly, I mean, I'm not just going to buy it, but I am going to keep this tab open. One thing I've immediately seen, I love this Sunderland shirt. Of course, it's a classic Hummel shirt. Now, the thing with this one is that um, it's not had a bid at £100. So anything which is like, you know, ending soon, it's not had a bid. Clearly, it's not an incredible deal. or You'd expect someone to have put in a cheeky bid. However, this is on four minutes ago. Make me an offer. I'm. I might. I'll definitely send this guy an offer for this one because I love this shirt. I'm not a Sunderland fan, but it is a classic Camel shirt. It looks good. Uh, that tag again looks good. Let's just see the description. What I like about this, it looks like some guy has just stuck it on. And actually, if we go to the seller, I mean, he's got 100% feedback, and this is this is a great sign. Look at you know he's got vintage Sunderland shirts. Now again, £100, I don't think that's necessarily a bargain. Well, it isn't a bargain, I wouldn't say, but it is a lovely shirt and I'll definitely stick in a bid for that. In fact, whilst we're here, guys, let's do some research. So, firstly, let's confirm what year this one was uh, with full shirts. So it's 9193 away. Okay, nice. So that's the year. Um, yeah, again, if we just compare the pictures quickly... Yeah, so I love I love this shirt. I don't know if any other teams had this design, but the fact you've got the sleeve pattern there, um, it's quite a relatively plain body, but the old badge as well, the old crest. Now, when did they change that? Was it just after? Oh, no, they did have that through in the early part of the 90s and they changed later on. But yeah, I just, it's a classic common design. You've got the um, that lovely old material there on the sponsor. So yeah, that's 923. So if we just do a very quick kind of uh, look, see if there's any kind of going. Um, you could have a look at if there's any kind of listings. It's unlikely they're gonna be there. Let's go to classic football shirts and vintage football shirts. Again, two of the kind of big um, stockists of shirts, of course. If we go Sunderland and again do the same here. Let's just see if there is a going rate. Again, this is to help us gauge price. Now, I mean, some people, ah, here we go, guys. So, this is really useful, very useful, in fact. We've got three listings here, and they're all in the kind of 150 plus range. Now, of course, classical shirts do charge uh, a premium on their shirts. That's 
I'm fairly well known. But that's really good to know. So, you know, right off the bat, if the guy has listed it for £100, he's not got a bid yet. I'm very happy to go in with a, with a low ball offer, uh, at least especially at the start of the evening. So this is quite cheeky, but I'm going to see what he says to £50. I'm just going to, you know, send that over. I'd happily pay that. Okay, not accepted. That's completely understandable. <laughs> if anyone who's, who's made offers before will understand that. Uh, uh, that is fair. He's probably he's probably set the amount I guess to a hundred. Um, yeah, so that's that's completely fair. Let's just leave that in the background. But as you can see here, guys, that already you know even for hundred pounds, if you're really wanting that shirt and you've not seen it for a while, and actually that makes me that reminds me, if we just search on eBay, see what else is on eBay. So you can see here you've got a remake here, which is <laughs> almost as much as the original. But again, in this sort of classic football shirt's pricing. So if I was really keen on the shirt, I think I'd be very happy to pay £100. You know, it's clearly not widely available. Uh, the ones that are seem to be about £150. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe I'll stick a bit. I don't think I like the shirt enough to, uh, to go for it. But there we go. That would be... I mean, if you guys like, uh, you know, like Sunderland or like Hummel, and you should like Hummel if you're watching this channel... <laughs> Yeah, there you go. So I'll leave that one open. I, I think, I think, yeah, if it was, you know, I'd be maybe tempted to make another low offer. Let's continue looking. But um, yeah, really, really nice shirt there. And you can see just with a bit of research like I was doing there. Um, yeah, I think you can see sort of the market value or the general market value. This Dortmund shirt is, a, is of course, a classic. Let's have another look just in case there's anything rare like a, a name set or, or more interesting like a name set, I should say. Yeah, I don't know the game rate for this one. I would imagine it was about this price, if not a bit less. But uh, yeah, what else have we got here? Um, ah, is that Copenhagen the sign? Nice. Okay, I'm gonna look because I'd love to see that. Uh, Co. No, you're gonna fill the spot. There we go. Thank you, Auto. Phil. Um, I wonder. Yeah, all footballs just doesn't seem to have. I don't think it necessarily go back to that year. Um, the internet's also slowed down. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, no worries though. No worries at all. Um, yeah, let's continue. As I say, oh, that is a good shirt. That is a really nice shirt. Oh, lovely Roma shirt again. If that's an original. Um, it's one of those where, and I'd have to brush up on my knowledge of Adidas labels because there have been many different ones. Nothing there shouts that it's fake. Um, yeah, but I think that will be out of our budget tonight. This this rail shirt again. Everything I say, of course, we're caveating the fact that they are real. <laughs> Uh, but again, £40, if that's real. Not the worst price in the world. But I just, I don't know about you guys, I enjoy just browsing through it. And like sometimes, <laughs> it's, like, it's all good, mate. It's all good. I I was fully, I was fully with you on that one, mate. But um, <laughs> it was all good. Um, oh yeah, I was going to say, what? That price, but it's a remake on the Chelsea one there. Uh, yeah, I just enjoy browsing. I mean, sometimes it's literally just fun just to see shirts you've never seen before or be reminded of shirts. Um, you know, even like that, that um, Port Vale shirt, which I believe will be, uh, will be Williams help design. Uh, that is, um, yeah, great design to be reminded of from last year. The Pascara shirt, of course, many people got involved with that one when it came on. Oh, look at this. Vintage Palmer sweater. Now that is quite nice. I do like Palmer. Um, I think with this, I mean, sweaters, obviously, they're kind of a bit of a different ball game. Um, especially because it's often harder to kind of research, um, you know, when a sweater was from and that sort of thing. I think £70, I mean, <laughs> yeah, the price of sweaters is kind of quite high, generally speaking. Um, but yeah, this is a really interesting find. Uh, the Skewler Culture logo. 
Uh, I've butchered that, no doubt, that pronunciation. But yeah, it looks like some sort of youth or, or school uh, team or, or uh, event. Yeah, honestly, I think that is uh, that's quite nice. I don't think that... I mean, I could lowball him again. Uh, I don't think I like it enough to stick in an offer unless it... You know, it'd have to, if it was a 30, 40 quid range, I think I'd be tempted. Yeah, Zach Palmer, I love... I love Palmer, um, you know, similarly to Bogger Juniors, really, particularly the, when they had the blue and yellow hoop jeers in the 90s. But um, one of my favourite shirts is a, is a champion a Palmer shirt, potentially much worn by Nakata, unconfirmed, but certainly a wonderful shirt. That's one of my favourites in my collection. And I, I don't have many, many Palmer shirts, but I do love them. They are lovely. Uh, I've seen a few of these. Um, Daily and Airbin shirts. I can't remember where that team are from, but I remember Classic had these in their clearance section, which is probably why there's so many of them. Well, that's another interesting find. Again, slightly out of our budget. Um, <laughs> I love photos like this. <laughs> that, is just, that is just so good. There's something always quite artistic about that, isn't there? That is amazing. <laughs> so that's really distracted me. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, this is what looks to be a legit 2002 uh, goalkeeper shirt. Um, lovely Kappa design, very memorable Kappa design. And it looks like an original name set. Um, and yeah, Zach, 1999, that is a classic, of course. As you say, you ever got winning. Really, really beautiful. Beautiful kit, beautiful team. So... There we go, in the first page, I mean, as I say, I might stick in another offer. I, 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 I'm going to assume, guys, and I'm, I'm only guessing, but I'm going to assume that um, he's he's got like a limit, a minimum of 100. I've seen that before. It makes sense. It makes perfect sense. Oh, I forgot to say, we've got a giveaway as well, and I'll do that at the end of the video. So we've got a giveaway for a... Um, yes, <laughs> Kappa Media. That is true, mate. That would that would definitely not fit. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Now, is this an original or a remake? I'm going to assume it's a remake. But if that is an original, now, well, let okay. Let's first things first. Um, um, let's just have a quick refresh. So they did wear Adidas. And this particular, that, I mean, that looks, again, there's been so many versions of the Adidas label, it's often quite hard to um, establish if it is actually an original or not. But at first glance, that looks legit. Now, it, ah, it's a remake. See, I spent all that time looking at old football shirts, looking at the label, and it's a remake. I mean, good on the seller for being very clear with that. There you go, guys. So you can be hooked in, and again, Fair play, they're very clearly listed as a remake, which is great. It makes sense given the price. Given, I mean, if it wasn't legit, people would be bidding on it. But there, there we go. That was that was a good example. You see, it happens to me all the time. I get really excited, think, oh, this could be an absolute steal, uh, and then it's uh, then it's a remake. But again, good on the seller. That's great to see. There are some there are some good good uh, good sellers out there who are very clear when they share as a remake. Oh, guys, if you see stuff like this, you know it's a fake. No one will be selling a legit Arsenal shirt for £20. It's a current season shirt, you know, at least maybe £30, £40. But that's highly unlikely even then. Uh, but let's just have a look. I mean, it's not bad, but you can see the, the logos are a bit wonky, but that isn't that isn't bad, to be fair. Um, but yeah. It's not, it's not legit at that price. Um, just avoid stuff that's like that. Yes, that, that's it. it. It was a good remake. I mean, it, I'm assuming that was a, an official Adidas remake. <laughs> but yeah, it hooked me in. Um, well, that's, I, I just, honestly, I just enjoy getting through this. Um, <laughs> and uh, as I say, if, you, if you're watching long, thanks for joining me. Um, I'm hoping to do some more uh, live streams soon. I think, you know, I've, I keep saying I'll do more videos, but I, I do want to ramp it up. 
Now let's have a look at this Leipzig shirt, if it's real. Um, if it is, ah, love a good product code. Here we go, guys. Uh, what I'll do is just quickly bring up the tab here. And, uh, let's just Google the code. So you get 782741. And I think it is the right code. Okay, so that brings up the shirt. So we've got a legit Leipzig shirt here, by the looks of things. Um, now the time ends uh, in 12 hours, so it's not one that we'll be able to kind of finish, but that is definitely one. Um, you know, what's the size? Is it an L? Yeah, I mean, this shirt is one which I, I've sort of toyed with getting before. I'm going to watch this one. And I would definitely say, if this, if this stays certainly under £30, I think that's a great deal. Or even a bit more. Um, yes, George, you did get her in time, mate. We're, we're only just uh, not even halfway through, so welcome, mate. Welcome to me basically just chatting as we browse eBay. We've already been, uh, well, we found this fantastic Sunday shirt. And this is actually a decent price for the shirt. Uh, I've held off. I, I did lowball with a ridiculous offer of £50. That would have been quite cheap quite cheeky. I might I might go in with another low offer, but I'm pretty sure you would have a reserve of around the hundred pound mark. Um Barry, eBay has been bad for face. Yeah, it's true. Um like eBay you, you've got to be real I mean not only do you have to kind of just trawl through a lot of stuff. Uh yeah there's stuff which just is badly listed um which can easily be you know thought of uh, as a as a legit one unless you kind of take the time to research it so it is a bit of a minefield you, you have to be patient always if always ask for a tag uh, so a picture of the internal tags if you're not sure uh, but yeah George was a comedy uh, suffering what united now you know i'm gonna have to get the champions league scores up aren't i uh, i might do that on my phone whilst we're here um let's just have a quick and uh of what's happening. Okay, some good good looking scores here. You very join with Zenit poor G eh? Um okay, no no for the by winning. Oh so yeah, so Atalanta, yeah, one nil. Um as mentioned before. Barca haven't scored yet either, only thirty minutes. But yeah. Um I've decided not to uh, not to show um <laughs> Not to show the Champions League at my TV at the same time, or not to watch it at the same time, because I kept getting distracted. But uh, I should. I well, I don't have any sympathy for United, of course. But uh, yeah, that is quite funny. <laughs> so, yeah, I know the 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 sort of Oli in chants are pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty painful for uh, for anyone who's uh, who's a United fan. I think at this point. Middle man football. Hi mate, welcome. Welcome to the uh to the show. I mean it's quite funny that, you know, there's there's a group of you watching me just on eBay, but you know, this is I honestly think this is uh this is this is my idea of a good hour in an evening. <laughs> and I'm glad at the very least, if nothing else, guys, you can see some interesting shirts. Uh now this this guys is definitely the kind of thing uh, if this is real, this is a great little pickup. For, for six pounds now there is um six pounds delivery but you know that that should be well under kind of any fees for import and things like that and uh, i've never heard of capado but let's just do a quick bit of research here so again we've got um uh, frankfurt let's confirm the uh oh, let's go to our football shirts let's confirm the year um of the shirt so Okay, so this is this is just this the third shirt. That's all good. Oh, sorry, they did put a third shirt. My bad. Um, yeah, let's just confirm. The other thing I like to do is make sure um, you know a, a, a name set is actually related to a, an actual player, and it's not just a personalized one. And indeed, Francisco Capado had one year at Frankfurt. He scored six goals. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's certainly not a notable player. Very niche player. But that, I mean, you know, that at that price, and I, you know, yeah, 
that's another one I watch. Again, alongside the Leipzig shirt, if that stays low, um, you know, if you're someone who wants to build up a collection of all sorts of shirts, six pounds, uh, well, sorry, all in, 11 pounds for, for, you know, a naughty shirt with a name set. Uh, what's the size? It's an M, which is decent. Um, let's just translate that description because I do not speak Polish. Uh, it's not nice to do that. That's a shame. <laughs> Could be some juicy information there. I won't bother to take the time to, uh, to copy and paste it into Google Translate, but yeah. So there you go, guys. That that is, I mean, at that price, is uh, is very decent. Again, assuming it's real, it certainly looks good. Um, you know, I'm not going to pretend that this shirt is anything special, but for that price, if you have any interest in the Bundesliga. Um, that's decent, lovely embroidered crest. That's a good find. If that stays for six pounds, someone should buy that. I will certainly watch it myself. Uh, let's catch up with the comments here. Uh, I, oh, so Atalanta needs called again. Oh boy, bless, bless United. This could be, this could be ugly if it's uh, if it continues like this. Uh, Middle of my we get some therapeutic. You know, that's it, <laughs> exactly the same for me, mate. It's exactly the same for me. Uh, I honestly, like this is this is just, I spent way too much time on eBay, especially in the early days when I was building up a collection. And I think it actually helped helped to increase my um, my football shirt knowledge, just, just from the research at the time. Uh, you know, going through and checking shirts. Uh, how did you use filters? Yeah, so Middleman, I was saying before, um, I don't, I like going through with kind of minimal filters and basically... Um, I mean, it's a bit of an effort, but going through and trawling through. Uh, I know some people do do like to go for more filters, um, but I think I mean, literally, I think I did adult size, and I, these are auction only. Um, we'll check. We'll do another uh, method in a bit. But um, yeah, that's my chosen method. But um, it's not necessarily the most efficient. It's quite slow and uh, laborious to go through this way, but I kind of enjoy it. There's stuff that slips through the cracks. This Marseille shirt, this I believe was actually um, on sale at Classic as well for quite cheap despite being player issue. But again, if we just confirm the code there, so um, oh, you can see my OBS on the side. Um, so let's just have a quick look at that. I mean, it's great that they've got a picture of the code. You would assume it is real. And there we go, guys. That is, that's legit. And this is fantastic. I mean, this Marseille design is certainly not for everyone. It's pretty garish, but that is potentially another great bargain. And this one's shipped from the UK, which is a bonus. Uh, another one I'll stick to the watch list. I mean, already, guys, look at this. I mean, you know, with not a lot of money, you can pick up a nice collection of uh, a couple of German shirts and a French shirt. Um, yeah. So this is um, quite, a, quite a garish Marseille shirt, but Marseille has some... Great design, some very memorable designs. This is the tech fit construction. You can see the kind of X webbing at the back. So, um, as I say, I think Classic had these on for quite cheap, not much more than this price, but that's still a bargain. That's still a great deal on a, on a player issue Marseille shirt. So, you know, this is great. Like for 14 quid, um, obviously being a player issue, uh, what size is it? It's size L. So, actually, you know, even though this is a relatively tight player issue shirt, uh, yeah, that's a good one. That's that's a really nice uh, design. Although actually, now I've said that, I'm kind of keen to look. Let's see. Um, let's see what. Um, so that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to see uh, if we could see the kind of price that these have gone for from some other sites. So again, sometimes I like to just literally go on Google Images, and you can see here. So, so a, a replica went for twenty pounds. This could have been a while ago, but that was a previous listing on vintage football shirts. If we go uh, to classic now, and again, I'm just kind of interested to kind of see the price of, of it more than anything else. Um, so if we go kind of here, oh, they don't list their price. I thought they used to list the prices of, um, of the shirts, obviously not. I might be mis mistaken. Um, if we just do um, a quick look on here, 
to be honest, I could have put the year in as well, couldn't I? That would have made more sense. I've committed now, so I will uh, I'll continue. Um, let's catch up with the comments as well. After, uh, oh, sorry, I've already read that one. Barry, I'm learning all the time. I had spot fakes. Yeah, I mean, mate, as you can see, I am also continuing to learn. I don't think you ever kind of fully, uh, you know, reach the point where you, um, where you know everything. Oh, here we go. I mean, this is funny, isn't it? Obviously, this is a long sleeve version. And this is full motion, not tech fit. Uh, I don't know if full motion is rarer than tech fit. But, I mean, that's 80 quid for a full motion long sleeve. Now, again, it's a different construction and it is long sleeve. But considering that this is, you know, the tech fit one for £15. It is short sleeve, but it's the same size. There you go, guys. That, this shows you why eBay is really good. You know, Classic's great for the range they have. And they have stuff that you can get anywhere else. But if you're, you know, if you're a bit more flexible or you're a bit tighter on budget, get on places like eBay. Pick up stuff for this, which you won't find for these prices anywhere else. Make sure they're real and then you're good to go. So, um, yeah, that is, that's a great deal. I, I, I'm I sure they had them on cheaper. Maybe they did. Maybe this is just because it's long sleeve in formation. But anyway, that's pretty good. Oh, look at this. Is this the same seller? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Football shirts 303, it is the same seller. And he's got, oh, for what I would say is an even better design, a kind of AC Milan style uh, Frankfurt shirt. Another, that's funny, it's another number 20. Uh, but that is, that's great. Love that shirt. Um, you know what I like to as well, guys? If you see um, a shirt or a couple of shirts from a seller, it's always worth checking out the rest of their page. You think, oh, that's a good price. Because again, that could be a real steal. Um, in the States, there's a lot of fakes. Yeah, oh man, that's uh, yeah. You gotta you gotta be good, haven't you, to keep on top of them. A bit about it, George. I know you went to Hubble. Did you see the uh, Pinsgal show? Yes, I did actually. Um, yeah, and um, if I might, so that's the is that the blue and white one with the kind of mountain design? Yeah, lovely, lovely design there. Uh, George, and that's great um, that you picked up the home and away. I love it when you get a home and away combo. And uh, yeah, so here we go. I mean, this this seller um, seems to have some really good stuff, some really reasonably priced auctions. Um, a good range. They all look to be legit. I've never seen that into Vector share. That's quite funny. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff here, which, you know, is fairly middle of the road, but this is great. This is a great... Munch and Gladback shirt. Look at that sponsor. That kind of lovely, slightly thicker, uh, older material there. The Lotto. But that's that's great. And actually, again, at that price, I'm I'm gonna. There's gonna be quite a few uh, items on my watch list here. But that is a that's a really nice Gladback shirt from the early noughties. And this is this is great. This is just you know I, again. Ah, okay. Here we go, guys. Now. <laughs> I've been looking out for this shirt for a while. And uh, again, it's a shim from Poland, so you know I've got to be careful. But um, at this price point, it should be should be all good. Um, ah, yeah. So Barry, I'm not sure if you know about this jersey, but the recent Newport third jersey. So funny story, actually, and this is a bit of an. Uh, well, I've only just saw this week on the Newport show that apparently Hummel and or Newport have actually been sued or, or there's been a kind of attempt to sue from um, Burberry because of the use of the pattern on the shirt. So it's actually been recalled and fans have actually, who have bought the shirt have received communication from Newport asking them, or, or Hummel, I can't remember which party, asking for them to recall the shirt. So it's really interesting. Uh, I heard from a fan just, just this week and they said they were going to hold on to the shirt. But I thought that was quite fascinating. So I'm going to do a bit more digging myself. But um, if that is the case, uh, then if they do stop production, of course, and the ones that are in circulation kind of end up basically being the only ones that are available, uh, that would be a really interesting uh, interesting story. But um, yeah, so Barry, that, that I mean, I don't know if you knew that. Maybe you did. 
for that, so that's one to watch. Um, oh, okay, Andy, so let's have a look. Into shirt with a Kirby SL name set whilst we're on here. Um, as I say, just quickly before I do that, I really like this Liverpool shirt and I want to pick up this Liverpool shirt. This looks like a good price. A medium is probably going to be okay, I think. Yeah, that, that size and looks pretty good. Um, okay, so th this is definitely a potential purchase. Um, let's just have a quick look, actually, yeah, kind of, again, classic and vintage, to see um, the kind of going rate. I mean, these are the big boys, so you'd hope to pay less, of course. But, um, let's just have a look. And uh, what is it, is it 96? Yeah, 96. Again, we could um, just put the year in that saves time. Okay, vintage have got quite a lot. So, um, see the going rate for this one. What have we got? What have we got? So, vintage. I mean, again, this this was a medium. Um, I mean, <laughs> vintage field shows, they've got over 150. So, you know, the auction still got 13 hours ago. I'm not going to get carried away. But this is one that's on my long-term wish list. Certainly one of my favourite finds we've found tonight. I mean, a few of them have been from this same guy in Poland. Perhaps I could buy a couple and then you could combine shipping. That would be a real result. But uh, let's also... Um, what, what was it? Andy said it's into shirt. Let's have a look. So that's a great shout, actually, to search for just the team. Team name. Uh, oh, no, this is from uh, the same seller. We don't want to do that. Uh, let's just go page. So what was it you found, mate? The Cambiasso. Okay, okay. Um, in fact, if I just search what you've. Oh, I assume we'll find something. Okay, so there we go. That. That's a fantastic shirt, isn't it? Of course, one of the best. Those were 90 uh, shirts there. Looks like an original name set. Now, XL, usually I try to stay between medium and uh, and L, but to be honest, for a shirt that good, and that's a really reasonable price, I think you'd probably, you know, if you go in with an offer as well, you'd be uh, laughing. So, yeah, nice, and that's a great tip there, Andy. Uh, you know, there's certainly a few teams, like I mentioned Boca Juniors, that's one that I like to look out for. I've been desperately trying to find a go ahead Eagle shirt, and I tell you guys, they just are very few and far between. Um, it's quite sad, really. I mean, look at that, there's five listings, and, and you know, oh, there's some international as well. I mean, that isn't a bad price, uh, but it's just not one of their better ones. More interesting design, but again, I'd probably, I mean, I'd potentially stick in a low offer there. That actually, to be fair, isn't, isn't bad at all. Um, that's quite... That's probably worth uh, sticking in an offer. But yeah, team-specific stuff is great. And uh, there's always potential to get a few good stuff. But here we go. Just quickly back to the Liverpool shirt. Um, okay. Yeah, Barry. So that is... Um, yeah, as I say, it's a kind of developing story there, really. Uh, but one which is really... Uh, really worth um, uh, keeping keeping tabs on, and I'll, I'll probably post about it tomorrow. Actually, on, on my Twitter, George, I'm going to guess Ronaldo has scored. <laughs> Again, I don't have the information on my screen uh, at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll see uh, see what Zach and everyone else has to say about that bit. Just jumping back to um, this little shit. It's already had nine bids. Clearly, there's going to be interest, but given the price, you know, given the I think certainly anything under 100 is reasonable, but if you can get it for kind of, you know, 50, 60 or less, uh, that would be amazing. The condition looks decent. Um, not, not kind of, you know, top, top, but very good, I would say, based on the pictures. Uh, it should be from Poland, but, you know, really good feedback here. The, the shipping is reasonable, and there shouldn't be any fees uh, given the price. Um, so, yeah. I mean, as you can see, guys, just and we've not spent that long. Um, you know, we we came. We 
This whole shirt, uh, as again, that is actually a reasonable price for the shirt. Um, but I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm going to spend the money. Uh, yeah, Andy, I, th I think you're right, mate. I think I think that 7580 is reasonable for that shirt, um, to be honest. I think um, it's certainly one I've been looking at for a while, and that that seems to be a good a good amount for it. I've I've been toying with it for a while, so that's one to keep tabs on. And again, if I can maybe sneak in a couple of these other Bundesliga shirts um, from the same seller, I'd be really happy with that. Um, and then you've got, again, this Marseille shirt, really reasonably priced, as is the Leipzig shirt. Although, I've just realised there's a reserve on that, so that might actually you know, not end up being as uh, as cheap. Um, yeah, this is a great, great humble shirt. Whilst we're here, and again, I am going to assume that the guy um, has a, yeah... Uh, it's it's almost certain that the, the reserve is a hundred pounds, if not if not uh, slightly less. So my again incredibly low ball offer there, seventy pounds is projected. <laughs> As you can see, I have no shame in asking. You never know. You never know. I mean, it's not had any bids. Um, yeah. So actually, um, you know, something like that, even though it is a bit cheeky, um, there's no harm in asking. You never know. You never know. But uh, that one, I think, will escape us tonight. But, um, yeah, beautiful shirt. Uh, we'll continue a bit more, and then we'll do a giveaway. Um, yeah, exactly, middleman. Um, on the same, I tend to prefer uh, looking at m and you know, not only for if I was to wear them, but also, um, yeah, they just tend to be the, the kind of best value if you were to sell on, or also the, the most sought after. This is a lovely shirt again. Um, and this looks like it's a player issue. Addy Zero. Um, if we just Google the code. Um, as we did before. And I mean, if you guys didn't know, um, you can see here that... Um, I've completely got that wrong. Haven't I? There we go. Now, this is interesting. This looks like it could be um, a stock Adidas shirt. I've Googled the code there. Um, sometimes I do you know, like to also search for the, the bottom code just in case. But again, looks like we could have a fake on our hands. Uh, suddenly, Googling this has brought up some other Adidas shirts. And you can see here. Um, and I'll have to, I, I, I can't remember the difference between um, the, two, the two numbers. But based on that, um, you know, it's not an obvious fake. Uh, I'd have to check other details, although I don't remember, um, yeah, things like where the shirts were made can sometimes be a giveaway, it says made in Cambodia, I'd have to check if other Marseille shirts were made there. Uh, BM for love, roughly 60 shirts, will be listed eventually. Yep, you know what mate, um, if you reach out to me on Twitter, uh, do, uh, yeah, do send them anything, if not myself, I could pass it on to... The guys of Football Shirt Collective, uh, who'd be interested in bulk buyers as well. So yeah, that's of interest. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> yeah, exactly, mate. I I, I uh, had a, quite a funny exchange at that for the Bucket Juniors shirt I went to the start. And uh, yeah, I think at one point I was just sort of chipping off a few pounds. And we eventually met in the middle. <laughs> but uh, that was quite funny. Here's this Atletico shirt. Quite creased, but... Um, again, assuming it's legit, could be worth an offer. Um, certainly, um, if I just confirm the look of the shirt. Middleman, <laughs> yeah, cheap Rangers jerseys, okay, okay, nice, nice. That's uh, definitely one if you're looking for a quantity, not necessarily quality. Oh, I don't mind the Rangers, but uh, yeah. Uh, what was I doing? I've got too many tabs here. Um, now I'm just trying to confirm the look of the shirt. So here we go. Yeah, um, the Centenary shirt. Now the swoosh is a little bit bent, but I think that is legit. It certainly passes the visual test. Uh, and that is, again, although having said that, 
I'll have to double check that. The crest looks a bit off there to me. Uh, I mean, it could just be that it's kind of badly, um, you know, photographed. But if I was to, oh, let me get, apparently Windows 11 has improved their snappable Windows function. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. See, if I do a straight comparison there, the, the crest area looks a little bit um, off, a bit kind of bulging. It's not necessarily a fake, but that kind of immediately jumps out. Um, but anyway, I'd probably want to do a bit more research on that one, but if it was legit, it could be a real good bargain. Certainly, you know, I could go with another lowball offer. Uh, you know, that might, that might be legit. That might be real. And certainly that's a lovely shirt. Very kind of minimalist, but a great design. Uh, hey, Lucas. Thanks for joining. Yeah, we've had a good time. We found some uh, some interesting shirts. This one certainly kind of won my heart. It's a bit out of budget, but that is a good price. And that shows that you can get higher rally shirts at a good price. But there's quite a few. We found a guy in Poland who was selling some great, great shirts. And this Liverpool one is certainly one I'm going to be keeping tabs on. The auction ends in... in uh, 13 hours. I think guys actually as we close I want to do maybe another 10 more minutes or so on eBay and then we'll do a quick giveaway and, and any other questions to round off. Uh, but, but there we go. That was just a bit of a fun browse through the auctions. If you now go to buy it now, of course with these, these are less time sensitive although you can do uh, the ones that are kind of hybrid auction and buy it now um, to look at. But I like to do uh, newly listed. So again stuff that's literally just come on uh, with a buyer now because sometimes people list stuff and they you know for whatever reason just have it at a really low price and you can get a bargain so again we're going to do a similar thing and just take the time to go through oh dear me oh, I'm sorry I'm, uh, I'm pretty sleepy it must be said <laughs> it's only nine o'clock but I'm, I'm honestly not far from uh, not enough here not because I haven't enjoyed all your company you know now that, yeah, exactly, Zach. Buy now, need listed. Um, and we can see here the stuff. This has only been, you know, half an hour ago. You never know what slips through the cracks. So I'm just having a browse. There's a lot of new Premier League shirts. It's to be expected that a lot of new shirts will come up. Now this, unfortunately, is, I think, fake. Uh, it would be an amazing price. You can tell it's fake just from the colours. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, I mean, it's not the real thing, of course. <laughs> but a real Vanessa shirt, uh, they do, uh, they are quite valuable at the moment. 10 minutes to find a great offer. <laughs> yeah, that's it, Andy. I know, I know. I should have, I should have uh, gone for this one. So that's interesting. Just jumping back to this one. Uh, it didn't have any bids at £100. Now, I think that is a good price. Maybe I've misevaluated that one. Maybe that actually isn't that much of a bargain. Uh, and it could be that, you know, there's been that price from other places recently. Uh, but that, that could have been a real good find. Uh, not quite a grail, although I guess that depends on your definition of a grail, doesn't it? But uh, yeah, go through the new li the, uh, the buy now stuff. Oh, this is interesting. If that's a real uh, Salzburg shirt, I'm not convinced that's real, though. Um, based on that swoosh, looks a bit off to me. And I'm not sure the inside neck as well. It might be real, but uh, no, I mean, it's obviously not anything too special. But at that price, could be an option if it was real. Um, browsing through. Now, this is a remake, I think, looking at that label. But obviously, Hubble immediately caught my eye there. Uh, so, yeah, nothing's uh, really jumping out on this section. But sometimes stuff does come up. Certainly, you know, the, the very best. Uh, bargains are often sniped from this this method. Yeah, exactly, Zach. Not a good, not a good fake there. Not even a, an attempt. But of course, given how popular they are, yeah, it's no surprise that people are, are jumping in. I don't remember Algeria wearing this. Um, if it is a legit shirt, I have my doubts. Um, yeah, obviously the uh, one of Alias's templates from the, from that season. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll do another page of, um... oh yeah, Lucas, so that Marseille shirt we were discussing, um, you know, it's a player issue shirt with tags, and it's legit, we checked the code uh, for £15. 
some ships in the UK. Um, I was pre I'm pretty sure Classic had these for not much more than twenty pounds. I I think they had them quite cheap, maybe even cheaper. But then again, we looked on Classic and they had a long sleeve full motion for for a lot more. Uh, yeah, but anyway, either way, even if Classic had them, that's still a good price. Um, certainly, you know, compared to what I could see from a quick search. So yeah, that was a really nice find. Um, yeah, and then... Uh, interesting though, about the bicarbonate soda. Yeah, if that works, do... Um, oh, yeah, that's certainly something... Any tips like that can be uh, can be very useful. So yeah, you can see just browsing through, um, we're getting to the point now. These shirts have still only been on for a couple of hours, so there's definitely still potential. Uh, you know, if this was legit, it won't be at that price. Uh, I can just tell you now because <laughs> it's a neat shirt. And again, just if it's a common season shirt at this price, um, yeah, it's not it's not good. But yeah, Lucas. I mean, honestly, guys, like, yeah, I would, I would jump in with, uh, with offers for this, for these things, and you know, I'm hoping uh, you don't run up the the, York, the Liverpool auction too much if you are interested. But uh, at the same time, part of this evening, obviously, is just as well as myself, just having a bit of fun, just showing you guys. Many of you, of course, will use eBay, but just showing you that there's still good stuff out there, and again, with a little bit of research, um, you can, you can kind of, you know. Getting with some really reasonable pickups, certainly much cheaper than buying elsewhere. Uh, as we wrap up, let's do a few team specific searches, or maybe even brand specific searches. Uh, so I'm actually going to just search Hummel, a Hummel shirt. And again, uh, we've got, I'll do all listings. Most of them I assume will be by now. But, um, Given my love for Hummel, of course, I'm quite keen to see what's on here. Uh, that's a reasonable price for a full Madison shirt. Um, and certainly with an offer that could be even cheaper. Um, so that's that's very reasonable. Uh, there. Could be a good deal. I actually sold my full Madison shirt, but I'd kinda, I'm kind of keen to get it back. So uh, I might stick in an offer there. Uh, but yeah. You know, we've mentioned a few times, a couple of people have mentioned searching by team can be a really nice um, way of, of picking up picking up bargains. Now, one thing actually, we probably won't have time to do it, but um, if you're kind of, if you've got a bit of time, searching for kind of misspellings as well can be a really good way to find stuff. So maybe a football shirt uh, without a T or, or something like that. And you can get some, uh, yeah, some decent, Decent finds just from stuff that slips in the cracks. Uh, so again, these shirts uh, weren't um, weren't too easy to come by. They sold out relatively early. I I had one and did also sell this one. Uh, but again, if that's legit, it looks legit at first glance. Could be one to make an offer for. Uh, but yeah, some other good stuff from uh, Eastern Europe. There's a lot of a lot of sellers from Eastern Europe. Most of them as well. Uh, quite reasonable with the postage costs and things like that. Lots of Ranger shirts, of course. But uh, yeah, some really good, really good shirts still. Uh, Freiburg, I have a lot of love for Freiburg. Um, I'd be quite keen to pick up some of the older shirts. Um, this one could be an option. I don't know who. Um, Sept is Sept. I don't know how you say his name, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a potential. Uh, and this is just in, yeah, the Kodji shirt again. Uh, once we've checked it out, I don't know, Short Street. I guess that, um, well, I don't know if that relates to anything or if that's just been personalized, but uh, that is a lovely design. And uh, yeah, as we wrap up, yeah, exactly. Been around some good Bristol stuff. Um, of course, Barry, very welcome to, to post your username, no problem at all. Um, yeah, Ollie, the Liverpool shirt, I think that's probably my, my favourite of tonight. 
I did like this Sunderland show, which we uh, which we considered, uh, and this you know potentially a really good deal on a Leipzig shirt if the reserve is low, and uh, this Marseille shirt again at that price, really good, really cheap, noughties and early tens Bundesliga stuff. This as well, still need to confirm if that's real, but if it is, could be a real bargain. Um, so yeah. Let's maybe do another couple. Let's do... In fact, I've just seen St. Pauli. Let's look at St. Pauli because they have some fantastic shirts and uh, very collectible shirts. Oh, yeah, that. Let's see your watch list. Yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll do that. Let, let's have a quick look through these 160 listings. See if there's anything good. And then we'll wrap it up. I mean, obviously, the humble stuff is going to interest me particularly. Um, that's not tons. Uh... There's, uh, that is, I do like that design. I'm not up for signed shirts particularly though. Uh, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, for me that actually hurts the value of a lot of shirts. I mean, if you got the, the certificate of authenticity, um, then, then yeah, it's, uh, that's a lot better than, uh, than nothing. But yeah, this one, so that's interesting. Um, I mean, that's actually not bad. Uh, I'd have to check. I mean, XL, I think I'd probably prefer L, uh, especially as it's, as you can see here, it's an actually, well, yeah, it's a, a, an XL UK. Usually Europe XXL is, a, is a, an XL UK. Uh, I do like that one. I think it's probably not a watch list worthy one, but it's very close. Uh, that's a classic 90s one there. Uh, hey, Abertino. Hey mate, we're, we're starting to wrap up. We're going to do a giveaway though very soon, guys. I'm going to do a quick giveaway. Uh, and anyone who's, uh, who's entered in... Uh, sorry, it'll be open to anyone who's commented, actually. So um, I will show you the shirt and you can comment on that. Uh, but yeah, let, let's look at the watch list. And we've just had... Um, well, let's take a look. Uh, ignore <laughs> those colourful brackets there. But there we go, guys. So, uh, six shirts that made it onto the watch list tonight. Uh, we've got the Liverpool shirt. And again, I think this one is certainly one of my favourites. I'll confirm it's authentic uh, with a bit more research, but it looks legit. And if that stays, you know, even double that price, it's reasonable. But even cheaper could be a bargain. Some great German shirts here, really cheap prices. And this is from the same seller as the Liverpool shirt. So if we could combine postage on that, we'd be laughing. Uh, the Great Deal, potentially on a Marseille shirt, and indeed the Leipzig shirt. Uh, Sunderland shirt, I, I do want to come back to this because I do really like it, and part of me thinks it would have been, well, it would have been reasonable, I think, at £100. But then again, it didn't have any bids, so it's one of those. But um, yeah, hey, hey, Leandro, welcome, mate. Welcome, guys. Welcome to those who are joining. We are beginning to wrap up, but um, and in fact, I'll switch back to our main and um there we go guys thank you so much though uh, just for for hanging out it's been a lot of fun uh i've almost spent a lot of money i've certainly got a few on my watch list uh to look at but yeah thank you so much to everyone who's joined uh and commented and just even if you watched or not commented thank you for watching i'm i'm gonna be doing some more streams i really like this i really enjoy this kind of loose format um i really enjoy just chatting with with you guys uh, and there's different things we could do i mean there's ideas obviously this was something i wanted to try i think it's been quite fun i think we've found a few bargains between between us guys and uh yeah as well as i mean i'd love to do some more of the kind of classic phil's corner style as well in a live format so a bit more informative kind of history and shirt design based but thank you so much for watching and here we go guys here's the giveaway here is the shirt you can win and i'm just basically going to have everyone everyone who's uh, commented today i'm going to enter into a random draw and uh, i'll draw it after the um after the, the stream's finished and i'll I'll, uh, I'll look to get in touch uh if there's any problems uh i mean go to my twitter actually uh tomorrow i'll, I'll announce the winner tomorrow morning but everyone who's commented so if you haven't commented already and you'd like to win do comment I mean, this is funny because this shirt probably won't be for many of you to wear, but it is a great shirt and it's from Fit Fanatics. Thank you to them uh, for gifting the shirt. It's actually, uh, it's actually a women's shirt. 
um, or rather a women's size for a sport receive fascia. And this is a really, really lovely design. Uh, Brazilian teams had a kind of range of pink shirts uh, for breast cancer awareness. So again, it's in a women's size, but you know, even if you're not you know, a women's size, still a great shirt. You can give it to someone you know, or even just keep it. It's a lovely shirt. Uh, the size, if I just actually confirm. So it's a women's small. So again, won't be for many of you guys, but it's a great shirt, brand new, straight from Brazil. So I don't think you can get these anywhere else, uh, really, apart from Brazil. Uh, of course, you can go to Fit Fanatics to get great Brazilian shirts. You know, you know the the drill, don't you? you know, uh, Fit Fanatics have been sponsoring me for many, many months. But yeah, lovely shirt, really nice shirt from Umbro. Um, lovely pink design, and it's a great shirt, and you can win this. So everyone who's commented, and thank you to, to Ashley who's just commented there. Uh, yeah, Leo as well. Thank you guys. As I say, everyone who's entered, everyone who's commented, sorry, is entered in to win that shirt. And uh, I'll, I'll draw the winner later. I'll announce it on Twitter. Um, I'll try and get in contact, but please look out for that. And um, I think I can get in contact through through YouTube as well. I can't remember what the deal is. But either way, I'll give that to someone. We'll find someone to give that away to. But um, guys, thank you so much. It's been so much fun. I really, I really appreciate your support. Even though I've had this channel for quite a few months now, you know, I'm, I'm still learning, I'm still figuring out how to do stuff. Um, I will be doing more videos. Uh, I've said that for several months, but um, I think very soon I'm going to ramp up the, the amount of content. And I, I think streams are going to be the way forward for me, certainly to produce more videos. I'll still do the, the standalone videos, but I think I think this format, dare I say it, maybe weekly, could be it could be something especially once we get a few more bits uh play a few more um, elements on the stream but anyway i think that'll do it so thank you thank you to everyone who's uh who's tuned in and uh enjoy the rest of the football as i say i've not had it on but i'll have to stick it on now and uh yeah thank you for stopping by so really really enjoying it guys um yeah thanks joe i, th I think i will i think i will make it a regular thing if nothing else I could just help you guys find shirts. I probably won't. Have, my budget, my monthly shirt budget would quickly drain, I think, if I did this every week for myself. But, uh, yeah. No, I, I think I will. I think I will. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Um, nice one, Barry. Nice one. As I say, uh, everyone who's entered will have an equal chance to win. And um, I'll, stick, uh, I'll stick your name into a random draw. But thank you so much for watching. Alejandro, uh, George... Thank you guys, Barry and Middleman again, and everybody who's been here. Thank you, Andy. Uh, yeah, thanks for just taking the time to chat. It's been really fun. Really enjoyed your company. And of course, I'll see you on on Twitter and elsewhere on future videos. But um, yeah, as we begin to wrap up, um, final final call. If you if you do want to enter the, uh, to win this lovely sport with Cifo shirt, all you need to do is comment. So you've still got a minute or so to do that. Yeah, let's support Atalanta. Yeah, don't tell, uh, don't tell some of the, the United fans here. But yeah, <laughs> thank you, Lucas. Take care, mate. And uh, yeah, to everyone who, who stopped, stop by. It's been a lot of fun, and uh, we'll do this again very soon, no doubt. But, uh, yeah, I think that'll do it, guys. As I say, I'll leave you with the outro scene. Uh, if you are new here, if you've just stumbled on this stream, you've stumbled on this channel, you can subscribe for more football show videos. I'll be doing. All sorts of stuff, live streams like this. Uh, if you go back, you can look at my back catalogue of, of longer videos and kind of historical videos. And, uh, nice, yeah, thank you, Barry. <laughs> oh dear, sorry, George. But um, yeah, uh, as I say, been a real pleasure, guys. And uh, I'll see you very soon. I'll, I'll leave you with another another scene of my uh, my original song, which I uh, which I wrote and performed. <laughs> You can enjoy the, the soft tones of uh, of that. But uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.